Hi, it's Wednesday. It's time for News 2 Gives Back, and I'm meteorologist Marcus Bagwell. News 2 Gives Back is brought to you by Nashville Subaru in partnership with Goldstone Financial Group. We are in Wilson County, and we're in the city of Mount Juliet. We are back here today to recognize the first responders. These are 911 dispatchers that have recently become official first responders, which means a whole lot, especially in regards to when you call them, they are ready to take care of you in a quick way. I have Chief Michael Mullins here to tell us about it. Tell us about these dispatchers and how they became uh, first responder dispatchers. Yeah, there was some legislation passed recently and we went in front of our Board of Commissioners and we wanted to recognize our dispatchers for all the excellent work they do. Uh, and when it comes to first responders, they truly are the first responders. And they may not be the ones that respond to your home in the situation, but they are the first voice that you talk to, the, the, the first voice of the calm. They're the first uh, information gatherers for us so we can be successful. We can't be successful without them and they are the first person that you talk to. Absolutely. Uh, and what did it take to get this uh, designation uh, ready for them and how is it different from just being a, um, a regular 911 call taker? I mean, so it started with the legislation going in front of our Board of Commissioners. Our Board of Commissioners has been supportive of us always. Uh, and we wanted to recognize our dispatchers and let them know that they that we value them and that you know we recognize what they bring to the department and that they do a fantastic job. Our dispatchers recently took on the additional responsibilities of dispatching for fire and EMS. Uh, we're one of only 10 cities in the state that our dispatchers dispatch for police, fire, and 911 or uh, EMS. So uh, we value them and we wanted to make sure that they know that. Sure. And what type of day, what's a normal day like for them? Of course, it's taking 911 calls, but what's a usual shift length and duration of time uh, for them in a typical day? Our dispatchers are working eight hour shifts. Uh, it's hard to say a normal day because no day is ever the same. Uh, it depends on what's going on in the world. It's going what's going on in weather wise. We, you know, the, the weather we just had this weekend. Uh, it changes the, the response that they have and our calls for service days that, you know, changes. So in the same time that they're dispatching uh, 911, our LPR systems are, are very successful where they're dispatching that. Uh, there's also somebody in the room dispatching an EMS call or a fire call uh, for someone that's in, you know, crisis or needs help and, and they're handling all that in the room at the same time. And tell us about the relationship with them and then in relation to your officers that are out in the field. There has to be a lot of communication there. Uh, what type of communication are, are they giving from here in the building to the officers that are on the streets uh, working to keep everybody safe? It's all the vital information. When we're responding to uh, critical situations, domestics and process, they're gathering all that information and are allowing our officers to formulate a plan while they're en route. They're gathering the information that we need to know how many people's there, What's the situation? Is there uh, a mental health situation going on? So they're gathering all that information. If it's a medical call, they're giving that first uh, information out of how to care for that person to the person, being that voice of calm to the person on the other side of the phone. Nobody ever calls us on their best day. So they're getting those phone calls when persons are, are dealing with the worst moment in their life and they're talking them down and they're consoling them and letting them know that it's all right and they were on the way. And finally, what does it take to become a 911 call taker? I mean, this requires a lot of grit, a lot of intense listening and doing many different things. But what else does it take to uh, to become and to have a career like this? And how can people apply? Well, it's all about our core values, our core values. And it stretches to dispatch and it reaches them. You, you got to have courage, even in dispatch, to answering that phone and talking to people. You have to have compassion and competence. You got to have integrity when you're talking with that person and understanding that regardless of what they're saying to you on the other line, that they're a human being and they're in crisis and they're, they don't know how to handle the situation. So they're looking for us for help. Uh, so all those things play in. And as far as uh, you got to be a, a super multitasker, you got to be able to listen to the phone and listen to your dispatcher next to you while typing at the same time. So it's tremendous skills I mean, and the relationship with our officers. A lot of our officers came out of dispatch so that they get the background and the, their start in dispatch and then they move to the road. Uh, but, you know, it's a it's a tough job and it takes a special person to do it. Sure, 
Absolutely. Well, we thank you all so much. Thank you all for loving the Mount Juliet community and helping people uh, at their lowest point. We really appreciate that. And Chief Mullins, you have a great team here. Thank you so much. And we are proud to bring them lunch today. This is all brought to them by Nashville Subaru in partnership with Goldstone Financial Group. We are thankful for our first responders for every agency in every county. And today we are wanting to highlight and recognize the Mount Juliet 911 dispatchers here in Mount Juliet. Thanks for taking time to watch News 2 Gives Back.